Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayori. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning into today's video. I'm sorry I'm a little bit rushed on my intro, but we're about to go on a tour and I'm kind of running late. The Amish come mainly from Germany and Switzerland. They start their history after the Protestant Reformation of 1517. Years ago, they used to use these for the boys as well because it's so much easier to change diapers that way. Then, a little girl will get a dress like this one. Always plain colors in the women's dresses and the men's shirts. No stripes or patterns allowed. They usually have an apron with the dress. And this dress has buttons on the back. That's okay, this young lady is too young to join the church. But for the older women, especially if they join the church, buttons are considered as jewelry. They are too fancy. So no buttons on their dresses. On church Sunday, the little girl will have a white apron over her dress and she'll wear a white prayer covering. All the on married women on church Sunday wear the white apron over the dress. When you see that on church Sunday, you know right away she's available for marriage. <laughs> <laughs> then around the age of 10. Okay guys, so before I couldn't really properly do my intro because of the fact that we were like that we were trying to rush and like see the tour, but I included all the footages. It was really interesting to be honest, like especially learning about a different culture. Like this is a gift shop for instance. Right there where we just left out of was like um, a blacksmith shop. And then right down there they, they're selling food so I am going to buy something so I could try it. But we're not allowed to record the people because they're not comfortable with it. I want to milk cows. I don't know if we're going to be able to milk cows or what we're doing. But right now my mom and my sister and my grandma, they're looking in the gift shop. And my brother and my dad, they went down there. But this is actually really, really cool. Like me, this is the type of things that I be saying that I want to do in the summertime. Like especially when I have my family. I want them to go out and like experience different things. Like, And I just want to do like fun stuff. I'm sad that summer is coming to an end. But there's definitely some stuff I also want to do before the summer is over. And I am going to be doing vlogs. I've been slacking on recording lately. But my mom, she stays on top of me because she's my director of my channel which is technically a manager but she likes to use the word director so she's been on me lately like i gotta make sure i get my videos out and i gotta get them out in a timely manner wait what is that banana bread Let me it's smell a regular it? banana bread but they make it at home right yeah it smells good it means every smell you took it from me because you, you didn't even let me taste it you don't want to share it with me i want a small piece small that's too big a little piece i don't know how it tastes Down there. That's why he's good. Are those real horses? Look at the horse. Wow. He's so big. Look, like he got a cut right there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Look at her. She said we can pet her. Okay. No, she said slow. Oh, we can. Look like a button. Be careful, yes. Don't get close, just for you. Okay. Got it. You got it fast, huh? <laughs> What is it? Uh, a woman, right? Guys, I just finished petting the horse. Did I get footage of that? 
I think I did get footage of that. But I just had to go run the girl down because I wanted to try this because I hope it's... <gasps> Look at the llamas! Oh my gosh! It's real! They are so... They're supposed to be very... They're spitting your face. Yeah, they're spitting llamas. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the llamas. He's wet. They be spitting, y'all, so we gotta be careful. So what happens if they spit on you? You wipe it off. Oh. Uh-oh. Alright. Okay. Right now we're in Philadelphia. No, I'm lying. We're in Pennsylvania. We're in Lancaster, Pennsylvania in the Amish country. And basically, like, you could go on a tour, get to see, like, how they live. So there's some kids right there. They're playing on the thing. But we're not allowed to um, film them because they're not really into, like, photography. They're very selfless people. They they follow the practice of being selfless. So, like, like the tour guy said before, like, in their house, they don't have pictures of themselves. They do celebrate birthdays because I did ask them that question. I'm like, oh, do they celebrate birthdays? He was like, yes, they celebrate birthdays and they celebrate Christmas. And it's crazy because we did this trip like spur of the moment. We're like about three, three and a half hours away from New York. First of all, we left out late this morning because my god baby has spent the night with me last night. And well, she spent the night with my mom. I didn't keep her in the nighttime. She didn't sleep with me. So she had my mom up and we basically went to bed kind of late we woke up late so we left new york a little bit late we were supposed to leave about seven o'clock we ended up leaving about 10. i believe we got here 1 30 and then we got to this place about 2 30 because we had drove around for a little bit but this is really nice it's really peaceful i say all the time like sometimes i want to like even if i'm not doing like a super big trip i want to just get out of new york and see different things like even if i'm driving to new jersey if i'm driving to pennsylvania connecticut just see things for what it really is yeah i'm so let me show y'all my outfit so i'm wearing it's a mule show y'all my outfit so i'm wearing some overalls I'm wearing these overalls with this striped shirt. I was gonna dress way, way fancier, which I'm glad I didn't, but then when I seen how everybody else in my family was dressing, I toned my outfit down because I was gonna wear like this two-piece set with this orange green vest I had shown in one of my videos. I was gonna wear that, but I feel like this is mad cute and like comfortable and I got my slides on and my mama's carrying my purse. I don't like to hold things at my hand, hands like Sometimes, if it was left left up to me, like I would not bring a purse. And then I have my little pocket right here with my shades and my phone. And then I got my camera. So we're waiting to get on the bus. The bus is gonna take us, cause I guess we paid for, I was in the store when they paid for like the tickets and stuff. So I'm not sure what our ticket includes, but my sister was saying that we got like the full service which includes like us doing a tour through the house and now we're gonna do a tour on the farm. Yeah, so when we get in the bus and we're seeing different things, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys because right now I'm really just, you know, walking around and enjoying, but we're, the bus is supposed to leave in about five minutes. Let's go. We on the back of the bus. Got the window seat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's going on. Yeah, I'm so mad that I left my my um my camera light. I actually plugged it in this morning to charge it and everything, but I ended up leaving it. I have a lot. We need some, so I want to see them. 
call this? This is the bedroom. Yeah, I like this. Thanks to me. What is it, a quarter? Yeah. yeah. Two. You got it? Are you holding it properly? <laughs> Ready? That sounds yeah. so warm. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, guys. So we are at rest stop, not rest stop, but gift st gift shop number two, right over here where we're currently going. Like they have like all sorts of natural fruits and vegetables. I just had to cross this road because over there is another ice cream shop. I just had some ice cream. It was so so good. It was like. I think it was called like I know it definitely had caramel in it but it was a little bit sweeter than I would personally like but it was really good at the same time like I don't know it's weird if it was like just like a, a tad less sweet then it would have been perfect I, like that's something I could eat all the time but it was a little bit too sweet so yeah they just over there looking at the vegetables i wasn't really recording too much on the bus because he's really just explaining how everything like you know like the lifestyle of the amish people and the mennonites oh where do we get the bread from little bread that you if you buy from out of the store oh over there they do they have bread to center uh you always got your hand out I brought the wrong purse. My other purse? Coins for days. Oh, you lucky I got one. Oh, I got two. Want both of them? Oh, wait. I got in my tube. You get fun? Okay, that's for you. Oh, he didn't get it. That's for you. Go get it. That's for you. I'm gonna eat them all. Yeah. I need to crack my back. I need to stretch. It is currently 5:11. I need to, Malka. I need to take another picture of you so I can change my lock screen. So yeah, yeah, we about to continue the tour, and then I believe we're stopping at one more place, and after this place, we are going back to square one, and then when we reach square one, we're gonna drive to a a buffet that's like based around Amish foods, like all types of different foods, but they do have like um, Dutch food. So when we get to stop number three, I'm gonna talk to you guys again.